Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel Science to Technology. In today's show, Future Friday, we're gonna talk about solar dome for water. So let's dive right into it. Now we have to understand the problem. Basically, we humans need a lot of water for life. And not only for drinking, for cooking, for cleaning, for everything that we do, we consume water like there is no tomorrow. And consequence of that is that uh, natural supply, basically there is a rain, there is a rivers, there is glaciers, all these things, basically natural architecture can no longer match up with our demand. So nature is providing, let's say, uh, one ton, we are consuming 50 tons. So reality is there is a mismatch. And consequence of that is that we human consumption is so high that we can drink sea dry. And I'm not joking, like we humans have actually done that. Uh, where real sea is dead, like gone d and done does not exist we drank it dry so uh, fundamentally speaking water is a serious necessity that we have to solve now simple solution people will say desalination why it is amazing because ocean has more than enough water basically if every human is started wasting water ocean will still not care it's like bruh, because water will evaporate it will either rain on the sea or it will rain on land so Fundamentally speaking, there is more than enough water for every Tom, Dick and Harry things. However, it is 100% unusable for us simply because of salt. Now your common consumption would be like, hey, let's remove salt from it. While it can be done, but it is expensive. And on top of that, even if let's say you are like, you know, Middle East and you are like swimming in oil money, you have got GG amounts of money, you still have to deal with brine. Now brine simply means uh, generally when you evaporate water, you will have something left. And these plants and processes are designed in such a way that uh, that's leftover is generally in liquid state highly concentrated salt solution but still in liquid so it's much easier for cleaning and flushing and cycling the system because if, if it's like you know remove 100 percent of the water then the salt will like literally crystallize crystallize so you will have side effect in order to cleaning it so generally for uh, desalination using thermal processes you will have very concentrated brine now that brine is a very big problem simply because it's harmful concentration of salt nature knows how to manage salt basically there is a lot of sea life that knows how to manage salt they're like i got this i got this i can manage this but think of it this way let's say their salt concentration is like five and you make that to 50 they're gonna die and it happens like uh, wherever you have giant plants wherever you can uh, basically find the exhaust port of it basically the brine extraction uh, dumping ground that whole area of the sea will become dead so fundamentally speaking that's a very toxic for the ecosystem and so far we have developed RO systems which are far more efficient what does that mean that simply means their energy cost is lower now still not cheap still not free still idiotically expensive but it's at this point in time if any country is planning to okay my population needs water uh, i have access to uh, basically you know see what can i do generally ro plant would be built however be mindful ro plants are generally best case scenario is for uh, every liter of water it's making it's gonna consume two liter of sea water and one liter of brine so that brine will still have enough concentration it can damage the ecosystem so if you are relying on fishery or coral reefs or things of that nature you're gonna destroy those areas so that's why desalination is not just like you know uh, do it and forget about it from energy point of view remove let's say you do not give a damn about ecosystem you still care about the electricity bill that's gonna come so that's why it's not a, like you know very easy solution in comes the solar dome idea now the idea is very simple here is they're gonna build a geodesic dome which is gonna utilize a lot of steel and uh, they're gonna have material basically it's a, it's a sphere and half of it is underground where the water is gonna collect and they're gonna utilize a lot of helio cell basically small mirror that can uh, aim basically and they're gonna use as a solar concentration so basically how we do uh, concentrated solar power instead of uh, creating uh, basically electricity it's gonna create steam the idea is that is that if it can be done correctly you're gonna have sea water that is dumping in the cold run and uh, then you're gonna heat that up and because you are utilizing sun directly it's far more efficient and then steam will be collected and condensed and then you're gonna have water a lot of water so that's the idea of it so basically you have a dome you have uh, mirrors that are heating it up and then you have steam then you're gonna condense it done go home sweet dreams now why it is such a unique thing well low energy i specified even if you do not care a single damn about uh, basically ro plant system where it's like how it's destroying the ecosystem you still care about the giant as electrical that's going to come and even if you are trying to run it on solar it still is going to take huge amount of surface area so fundamentally directly utilizing solar energy is far more efficient so even if you have like large solar farm that's if itself is like you know 20 percent efficient 30 percent efficient you already lost 70 percent of it so how uh, like you know at the end of the system how efficient it would be but if you utilize sun directly it's far more efficient so 
per square kilometer you're gonna get more work done so even if you can see a dome that is like huge the current plan is like making medium sized domes this is like small scale real one uh, they are planning to make a medium sized one and in the future they are planning to make huge ones they will still consume a lot of surface area but if you try to do it any other way basically have wind farm or solar farm it will be far more land consuming which is a expensive resource so fundamentally this is the approach and steam uh, can be created in such a way that it has enough pressure that it can drive enough turbines to give you enough energy now it will no longer uh, like it's not gonna be like oh this is a power plant also no best case scenario is that it will no, it will be power neutral or a little bit of positive so you will have a scenario where, let's say to pump the seawater or having gates uh, your ventilation system everything that you need for this sort of thing uh, basically uh, power needed for heliostats they have motors they physically move so all those things uh, can be powered by the steam itself it's not gonna be like okay this is a power plant that's uh, you know uh, producing a lot of energy no it's not gonna do that but it should provide enough to become basically self-powered once that happens this simply means something that is government basically builds and forgets about it like don't think like of course maintenance would be there but that's it they built it send some money for maintenance done don't think about it that would be amazing now it also has low complexity because uh, you may be like ro now ro is amazing technology but it is idiotically expensive like you have to spend both lot of money just researching how you're gonna make the RO membranes and in terms of uh, plants RO plants we, even though we are making both lot of them it's very expensive and simply because they ha we have what we call pressure recovery system so you have RO water that requires like very high pressure let's say 200 psi you're gonna have that 200 psi going through the membrane so uh, you have clean water and uh, brine water the brine water still has a lot of pressure left into it so it would have let's say 100 psi that 100 psi would literally go through a uh, pressure recovery system that's gonna take the water and pressurize it to 75 psi so that will reduce your power consumption in the pumping stage but you're like wait a minute that's complicated yes that is complicated that's why these are not something that you can do in your home it's very complicated and this puppy compared to that it's super easy manufacturer wise it is rather simple it's like it's just a dome with a glass and boatload of heliostat and heliostat has been manufactured in large enough quantity that you can just pick up a phone and be like hey can you deliver me like you know 10,000 heliostat they're like okay this is the delivery location and we're gonna deliver you let's say two years or three years so we have that and it makes it cheap and accessible that is another aspect of it the middle east can afford some of these idiotically expensive technology africa cannot do that india will barely able to do that and if india tries to feed it's like 1.5 billion people yeah that's not gonna work out so fundamentally low energy is very critical so basically power bill if it goes down to zero every country can afford this technology so that's the amazing aspect of it if it works then we come to brine management because again if enough people started doing the brine you may have a scenario where the whole coastline is dead so fundamentally speaking we still have to do uh, salt concentration management here there is an advantage because you are heating it up and you are using solar energy you can have like too much seawater comes in and evaporation is still will be the same but the concentration of salt increase will be less so you can have like in rather than increase of 50 percent the increase is let's say five percent benefit that water can be dumped into the sea and it will not have that much of a devastation devastating impact so uh, let's say if RO dumping is like say 90% bad this will be let's say 10% bad so that's one option of managing it another aspect is uh, we know enough about biology and there are many plantations that can directly manage seed and I'm like we do have scenarios where we have like you know seaweeds and all that jazz so planting directly on that uh, salty water is also approachable and because that's why you will see the animation of from this system is that they have a plower and then they are foresting the whole area and that's a desirable effect if you are dealing with uh, basically a desert desert have this bad habit of expanding basically you will have desert 50 years later it will like a much bigger area 100 years later it will be like you know consuming a whole country so fundamentally uh, making it green is a uh, you know desirable effect and of course it will not be like for irrigation but if you can make enough plant life enough uh, water wrapping enough moisture enough biomass then you can have a supportive biomass then you like you know you seed it and then you'll have a full forest out of it so it can be done it's not impossible it has been done it can be done and it should be done that will literally allow you to stop growth of deserts then that itself is uh, there these are two options a you make a green forest out of it b you send it back but it's less toxic or my personal favorite option high concentration for uh, mineral extraction now you're like wait a minute can you extract mineral out of seawater? Well, first thing you have to understand, take uh, mines, all the mines, as in like every single lithium mine on the planet, combine their output, their maximum, maximum estimated output, and compare that to the seawater. Seawater is like bitch please. It's the, num the numbers are like few zeros less. So there is more than enough material in sea. Now, consequence of that is that dilution is ludicrously high. So meaning it's almost like mining helium three on moon. It's like people don't understand. It's like, you know, one part per uh, million. 
it's like yeah literally you have to mine 10 tons or just to get one nanogram so same thing happens here however if you are already concentrating you are removing so much water out of it you can literally do what we call um, mineral extraction utilizing electrolysis so uh, many countries specifically south korea uh, they are developing this technology where they're just gonna have put giant electrodes and uh, system on the seabed that's it they are extracting min mineral out of it simply because and they can achieve a recovery solution density that is around one milligram per liter that's a lot when you are dealing with sea that's a lot of and that's a normal sea imagine what you can do when you are dealing with brine so the idea is the company is planning to do what we call lithium and magnesium mining heck even if they can get sodium out of it that will be both load of money they can generate if they can get quality sodium out of it quality chlorine out of it and remove everything just sodium raw sodium itself if they can get out of it that's like boat load of money they will be swimming in money so if this technology works out again i do not expect gen 1 to work this well but gen 3 gen 4 they should work that well if we reach this point humanity will reach a point where it's like the end we don't worry about water that's it like we used to worry about water in like you know 2040s and 2050s by 2070 it's like people like i don't care about water man we only fix pipes because like you know it's a hell of a hassle like that's why we will fix five we will not say oh we have to preserve water we're like okay and once you start mining basically sodium chlorine lithium magnesium you're gonna be printing money so fundamentally speaking if this brine management works out even on basic level the first basic level is that the concentration is less sea can manage it digest it awesome second level making a uh, green frustration of awesome third this is the most uh, lucrative one if this works out every country will start doing this because again that's why i'm saying i do not expect these sort of thing to work out one day day one but i do expect these things to work because there's a lot of financial potential into this and reducing environmental impact that's like you know added bonus like people will not care about environment they're like you're telling me that I can do this and make money? Shut up. Just shut up and take my money. It's like, that's it. The end. It's like, you, you do not want to fight against global warming as in like, oh, I will tax you. No, no. It's like, hey, I will give you tax credit if you make greener technology. See, in like next day, this problem will be solved. That's the whole point. So I really like this idea. Now, again, will it work out or not? I don't think it will work out in Gen 1. But Gen 2, Gen 3, I have a lot of hopes. So this was my presentation on solar dome for water. Hopefully you have liked it, learned from it. In that case, please click the like button, share it amongst your friends. That will help me a lot. If you didn't like it, didn't enjoy it, I urge you to press dislike. Press it twice to show me extra disappointment. Please leave a comment because I do try to reply to all of them. Subscribe, press the bell icon if you're free. And as always, thanks for watching.